Hello everyone, it's Adam here. This is the BMW R18, we're calling it the Pure. It's the base model released two years ago. You'll notice that the exhaust has that whale fin look. Uh, this is the naked version of the R18. MSRP is between 18 and 20 grand or so. You can get one much cheaper. As you can see, we've got the, um, the luggage bag hookups in the rear, uh, standard shifter, standard controls, it does have ride modes, it does have ABS, uh, everything you're going to need, LED headlight, heated grips, but no cruise control as you can see here. Um, the fuel tank I think is a roughly four gallons or so, it's the smallest of the fuel tanks, and then there's zero fairing at all um, around the bike or you. Also turn signals are built into the handlebars on the base model. Uh, this is the model that came out first, it's the first edition, it has a, um, a pinstripe with a glossy black finish the seat's a standard seat, and now we're moving on to the Classic. Uh, the Classic has these auxiliary lights built in, the turn signals are lower, you also get these side leather bags that are not lockable, but they do have these nice little um, uh, buckles that you can use. Also with this model, you have the Saddin cylinder head guards, but you can obviously order that differently. Again, standard shifter, but the tailpipes in the Classic are a circle, a long circular tailpipe, as opposed to the fishtail. This one, as you can see here, has cruise control as well, and then it has a front-mounted um, windscreen, which is awesome. So auxiliary lights, windscreen, this one's only a couple grand more than the base model, and you get some really nice accessories thrown in. And um, obviously is the one to get if you want some wind protection and some luggage built in. You can obviously buy all of these things aftermarket except for cruise control. I do not think you can retrofit cruise control to the base R18, but someone in the comments will surely correct me on that. Um, now we're going to jump over to the R18 Bagger. The Bagger is about $27,000, $28,000 depending on how you configure it. Again, this is going to be the, the, the glossy black model that we're going to be looking at. Uh, this has hard side cases as well as a really large front fairing that we're going to get into here in a second. Uh, MSRP is do 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 28 8 because they all come with a premium. I know you saw a lower price there but don't worry about that. Larger seat that's more comfortable has the comfort seat added. Locking um, side boxes which are integrated really well. They're, they're keyed to the bike and so um, these can't be opened unless you have the key with you. You press down here, you pull up there, and it has a cool little retractable um, uh, piece of string that holds it open. And these also have built-in speakers on the rear as well. Pretty cool, nice accessory to have. Not too big, but it's just a bagger. You're not going to be cr crossing country. Although you could, with this model, strap on a top uh, duffel bag if you'd like. Uh, everything else is integrated. Uh, you have a nice seat here. You have, um, this is a chrome finish on the heads. You have this beautiful front fairing with two more integrated speakers. Uh, RPM, Speedo, and a massive 11-inch TFT dash that's stolen from the R1250RT. Um, heated grips and cruise control are obviously coming on this. Much larger passenger foot pegs. And you also have on the left side, your shifter has two directional shifter, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, you look down here, turn signals are down low. You get nicer wheels that are polished um, aluminum. And then LED headlight again with that little black square thing is the automatic cruise control, which allows you to set your, your cruise control speed, and then it looks at the vehicles in front of you and adjusts speed based on that. So it's a nice little addition with the ACC built in. You obviously have a lot more uh, wind protection than the classic R18, which we had seen before. So this is, in my opinion, the spec to get. Um, it has the most wind protection, the most tech, the biggest screen, the, the audio speakers, um, as well as a lot of niceties. There's your horn and uh, it's a side view or anything. Gorgeous bike. Now let's go to the R18 Transcontinental. Oh, the Bagger and the Transcon have a larger fuel tank. You have roughly one and a half gallons of extra fuel on this, the bike I just showed you and this one. Those are the tailpipes off the Classic right there. Same side boxes, but you get the addition on the Transcontinental of this upper top box here. Again, it's key to the system. It's locked when you're locking it. So you've got that extra storage. It can hold at least one helmet, maybe two. Also on the Transcon, you have this pillion seat very, very soft and plush, and the addition of it appears two more speakers on the Transcontinental. So you've got that going for you. You also get um, crash bars on the side or engine guards on the side. Um, this upper area here is identical to the bagger, so nothing new to see there versus the bagger. But then you have this top box, which is fantastic. 
the side boxes, which are the same as the bagger, the same seat off the bagger. Look how comfortable that level. I'm going to be a passenger on this thing. The passenger on the Transcontinental also gets larger foot pegs, which I'll show you guys in a second. Here is the, uh, if we see it or not, let's see. Oh, here's the price. So you're paying about, about $1,000 to $1,500 more than the bagger, but you're getting a whole lot more value, which I'll show you guys in a second. There's the larger foot pegs for the passenger and the floorboards for the, uh, the driver. Nice and soft, locks in place, won't flap down. There's me. <laughs> Engine guards, you get wind protection on your legs, not just from the cylinder heads, but also from this extra plastic piece that's on the front there. You can see it on the right hand side. So you've got that piece. You have the auxiliary lights uh, from the bagger and the classic. You have these awesome wind deflectors that are extendable right here on the left of the right of the fairing. So those pop in and out, which defers more wind. The front is identical to the classic, or sorry, to the bagger, um, as is the shifter, which I'll sh hopefully show you in a second here. But yeah, you get you have the whole array, of the auxiliary lights, turn signals, engine guards, more wind arrow guards that you can throw a stick at, you get a nice chrome front fender, but all this kind of stuff is the same as the um, as the bagger. In my opinion, the bagger is the spec to get unless you're doing cross-country touring and you have a full-time pillion. Uh, this one is kind of the, the supreme cross-country model with a pillion and a lot of extra storage. Here's your shifter that comes on the bagger and the transcon, so you've got front and rear shiftability on this one. So comparing all the models, you've got the Pure, which is the cheapest, which has almost ne no uh, amenities or wind protection. Classic, some wind protection, non-lockable bags, bagger, lockable bags that are hard cases, more comfortable seat, and audio options with a massive front fairing that's fork mounted. And then the Transcon, there's your fuel tank. The Transcon has the pillion top case, bigger large seat, bigger floorboards, and a bit more wind protection. Um, the Pure and Classic have the same fuel tank, the Transcon and the Bagger had the larger fuel tanks. That was a quick overview of the R18 models for 2022, or sorry, 2021. Thank you for watching, and hope you get one of these. They are beautiful bikes. Ride safe.